Hi guys. It is 5.45. I don't know what's going on with the lighting. It's like it's kind of good, but it's like zoomed in. Don't understand. It is October 21st. I'm officially married. This vlog ain't gonna go for a while because I'm so behind. This is my complete ring set. Um, I'm going to be posting pictures, I swear, sometime in the near future because where we're staying at for our honeymoon. Um, don't really get cell phone service out there. Um, like every once in a while you get like one or two little bars. But as far as like for the internet situation, there's only internet out there. And as far as the cellular data, for your phones it's like 1x and it's crap so <clears throat> every time we we've had been coming in and out of town quite a bit um just for certain things which i'll be telling you here in a second i've been checking all my social medias and everything in between there so so we're gonna start with sunday um saturday night we had guests come over Oh, we had um, visitors stay from Indiana. You can see my brown coming through. That's great. Um, anyway, they stood the night and they left Sunday morning. And they left about like, um, they didn't tell us when they were going to be leaving. So we didn't really know. I woke up about 8.30 that morning and like I heard them like maneuvering stuff around in the extra bedroom. I thought they were getting ready to leave, so I need to wake Michael up, wake him up, finally get him awake, and by the time he woke up, he looked at his phone to see what time it was. He got a text from his friend saying that they were leaving, they had a long drive, I was like, nope, there goes that I had taken them out to breakfast because we didn't know what time they were leaving, but it's okay, whatever, they made it safely. Um, so after that... We basically just finished putting away um, the gifts we got for our wedding and we moved some stuff around at our house. So are the windows open? Sorry. But anyway. Moved stuff around at the house because um, I took went to my house and picked up some stuff so I can move stuff into our house uh, basically a long story short some of my stuff is still there though stupid airplane go away um, it was like almost golden hour so I guess that's why my name looks decent Got a new box springer mattress as well. And we finally made it out to the lake at like almost 8 o'clock in the afternoon, which is where we're staying at for the honeymoon. It's my great grandparents' lake house. I'm sitting here bragging on how there it goes. Um, so then, as of today, which is Monday, storms at like four o'clock in the morning scares the living crap out of us because we did not know we didn't know that there was um tornado washes out for that area so that was great not like i just mentioned earlier in the vlog that there's not much cell service at all so like i just got a random message from my dad at like 11.41, which mind you, we went to bed like 10.30 because we were tired. Saying just FYI, I'm like, what the heck? What does this mean? So I finally messaged him back and I didn't get his message to like 11.30 this morning. So. But anyway, we had a very severe storm from 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. So that was great. We were awake and we ended up going back to sleep until about like 10.30. And then we went to, we got up. 
welcome into the courthouse here in town, which from where we were staying to the courthouse here is like 20 minutes or so. So, went to the courthouse, finished up with the marriage license stuff, um, got the paper I needed for the social security offices, and then after we got done there, we went to our house because he had to go to the bathroom. We get done there. We went to the place where the location of the wedding was to return the key. That way we can get our deposit back. Um, so basically we got the deposit back, which we didn't realize by the time we got down there was 1230. And we didn't realize that the key was supposed to be turned in at 11. Um, because we really didn't read the instruction packet they gave us. So, whatever. They didn't say nothing about it. Um, came back into town, went to Dollar General because we had the stuff for pulled pork nachos, but we didn't have the uh, chips. So, I go buy those and then um, get a couple other drinks. Not drinks, snacks. But, like, um, did that, got mom some cigarettes, dropped those off to her, talked to her for a minute, and then we went back out to Lake House because I really wanted to ride the toilet. I haven't done that in years. Went to go start it, did not, did not start at all. We looked, there was no gas. You know, simple fix, right? Just add some gas to it. So we drove all the way back to town to come get gas. And the tire on that thing was low, so. Came all the way back to town for gas. Put gas in it finally, and it still didn't start. So we're assuming it's the battery. I don't know, it's my grandparents, though. So. Her tell them the last time it was used. Um, and so that was great. I was like, well, what are we going to do? Because I can't just sit here and watch Bob's Burgers all day because that's what we were doing. And it's like, I literally feel like my brain cells are shrinking because of the stupid commercials. So. And then we, I was like, okay, well, we'll just go sit on the front porch because it's nice outside. It's like 64 degrees. Got out, sit on the front porch, and I was like, I can't sit here either. So we get in the Jeep and roll the windows down. We go riding the trails that so we can take the four ballers on with my Jeep. <laughs> so we did that. I had my hair like bumped up for the wedding. I was like this, and I can still feel the stuff in my hair, and I've washed it. So anyway, we got done riding and now we're here at the car wash so he can do his job because his boss went out, out of town the same time we are so we have to come in and out so he can do his job which sucks because the whole point of me being off for our honeymoon is so we can stay there and not have to worry about him coming into work but it's okay, it's whatever, you work with what you got. So after we get done here, we're going to go back to the house, take showers and stuff. Because we need them, for sure. I'm sorry, my nose itches like crazy. But other than that, there's really nothing else going on. So yeah. This is like already 8 minute clip, so I have a look. After this clip, I'm going to throw in our day one and day two pictures of being on the lake. Um, for anybody to ask, because I've been getting these questions a lot, is it weird being married? Um, kind of. It don't really feel any different. Here, here's our picture we took today. This is our view. It's like gorgeous. Um, so yeah. My head is So yeah, I'm gonna insert those pictures here in a second and I will just update you guys next time something awesome happens. Bye bye. <laughs>
six is dark. So <laughs> I gotta go back out to the car. But I gotta take me some stuff with my headache. I've had it all freaking day and it's not going away at all. We have our like a little to get list to hang on the fridge. Okay, I know I'm on my name. Um funny story. Main reason why I went to Lake House is so we can save our money. And because he's only been out there once, so I was like, well I can take him on a trail to the four wheeler. We gave up on trying to work on the four wheeler. I'm just taking every problem, guys. Anyway. I'll take you guys to the car with me. But. Couldn't get the dang thing to start, so we gave up. So we stayed the night last night, and then today. We went to, well, I went to the Social Security's office. Um, obviously, get my last name changed and address and stuff. And then after that, went to the driver's license office, which is a funny story because there wasn't many people in the other place. So, driving DMV, whatever you call it. Um, went in, grabbed a ticket. The lady was like, oh, I'm not busy. I can take you. I'm like, all right. Go out to her, click easy, you know, get out to the car. My husband, I keep wanting to call him fiance. Um, he's like, did you make sure you use the right last name for your paperwork? I'm like, no. I signed my maiden name or whatever it's called. So, I had to go back inside. Good thing they weren't busy. There was like only one other guy. And I walked in, the lady's like, what I do wrong? I'm like, you didn't do nothing wrong. It was all on my end. Um, I signed my other last name instead of my new one. So, that was great. Did that. Um, well, before that, we went to the antique store because that's where his mom was working today. Um, then we went to Social Security's DMV. Back to check on his mom. Then we got lunch. We was going to have McDonald's. But they were busy, so we had Taco Bell. And then we went back out to the lake house to clean up our mess because we just... We just didn't want to stay there no more. We just wanted to come home. Um, plus, I haven't been really feeling good. Like, I've had migraines galore. Um, don't really know what that's about, but whatever. And then... We went to my house, brought some more stuff back, which I will show you guys. Like, my office is dirty, and there's still some more stuff to bring over, so. Um. So, we're just here. He just went, we took the AC units out of our window in the living room and the one in the bedroom. Oh, and I also went to Verizon to check, like, my change my last name and my address on my cell phone account. I really need to open my nails redone. They're super freaking long. And like, some of them you can tell they're growing out. Um, yeah, it was this pinky. You guys probably don't care. So anyway, so I'm gonna go out to the car, get the stuff and start the dishwasher. Cause we went to go, we did dishes too before. Cause we had to go to the Dollar General for my grandma. Um, once ago, I stuck the wash, dishwasher, and we have no more dish tablets. So, I'm gonna go get the bag out of the car, and I'll give you a Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar General haul.
Okay, before I do the Dollar Tree General Hall, like this is what my office looks like now. Complete chaos. Oh, I'm gonna take this off by the washer too, because that's done. Need to re clean this table off. As well. These are actually clean. Those are cleaning. Get up my... So, yeah. I hope you guys leaning up on our Oreos and the freaking snack cabinet. And clearly, that. I gotta make a joke about it. <laughs> Jordan's fall. I'm not keeping the shirt. My arm pads just gotten bigger, I guess. Got a receipt. <laughs> So first thing we got is some smart and simple small trash bags. It's in the fresh scent. Gala. It's for just in the laundry room, so. Then we got some of the Dollar General Home <clears throat> stainless scorching sponge. Uh, just these weird sponges. A dollar. Then we needed some toilet bowl cleaner, so we got the Dollar General Home brand, the automatic in tank toilet bowl cleaner. Just a twin pack for a dollar. I see the lighting is really bad. Last thing we got was again the Dollar General Home Ultimate Dishwasher Packs in the Fresh Ends with triple action. So, it compares to the Cascade Platinum. These were, I think these were three dollars. Yeah, everything was a dollar except for these. These were the cheapest dishwasher pass things they had. Hmm. See what they look like? Like you have the liquids over here by themselves and like the powdery stuff. Okay, I got the dishwasher going. This is gonna get loud. Um. Oh my god, I gotta show you our little cute mugs. Like it matches our flower thingy we got from my, my parents. It's really stinking cute. Yeah. Okay, don't mind us. We gotta pick on soaking. <laughs> but okay, these are the things from my parents, family, and gather. They're right done things and then we got these from our, fan, our friends that stayed from Indiana they're his and her mugs they're so stinky cute okay that's all I wanted to say and they also got this these uh this copper chef skillet thing but like it came with like a uh, recipe book and my fian fiance my husband's already got Stuff marked. This is my bouquet and this is my headband. I'm gonna take this to my grandpa's grave eventually. So. See, you guys are like literally sitting right here. I need to put these freaking things together.
so we got a new bed and mattress well a mattress and then we didn't like it so we're getting our new other one man Cause that one is super hard. So we what about that eye? So we'll check the one. So put in my wallet. Clean this up. God dang it. and stuff so I can show you what I'm talking about but look how stinking cute this is like this is from uh, the sand ceremony and this is just some everybody's names that signed it and then we got this really cute little cowbell it says Mike and Olivia October 19 2019 she's super cute but I need to put these in the bathroom like, my brain is just all over the place because it hurts so bad. It is. But. Whatever. I'm just going to talk to you guys later because I'm just, like, just randomly rambling. Okay. Yeah, that don't work up here. Mm. Wrap up here instead of freaking. We're almost out of air freshener. <laughs> but we got some more scattered throughout the house. And I also got to put. We had guests this day. So I got put these on. I'm gonna put these dresses away plus my wedding dress. It might have yeah, my wedding dress that's in the other closet. And you put these towels away. So I'm gonna go do that and talk to you in a bit. Hi, hi.